Hey guys there, Rothbox here, and today we're back with another Lord of the Rings draft. Um, this one has been super fun, maybe a little unbalanced, but I've really been enjoying it, and we're gonna try to sign, you know, see what we can pull up today. Um, see if we open any cool rares we wanna try out. I'm not super focused on the best colors, I kind of feel like I've determined that black and blue and red are really kind of the strongest colors in my opinion, and you could do good decks with white and green, but they're pretty mid compared to the other decks um but i've really 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 enjoying them um i think this form is really cool the flavor of the cards everything like that um so yeah it's been super fun you know let's see what we get into see you guys in the draft okay so pack one pick one i spot with my little eye a wizard <laughs> um, cast legendary spells and artifact spells delayed flash. Legendary permanent in the or artifact in the battlefield because the permanent ability to trigger triggers an additional time. How good is that? Fredos I think is actually quite good, but that's two colors and two colors that are kind of weak. I mean I think I'm playing a four five flash for five. Like it's one color. It's a little expensive, but I think this card is pretty good. Nothing else in this pack is amazing. Woe's Pathfinder is pretty good. But nothing like here is like really unreplaceable. And I think Gandalf's a really cool pick. So I think I'm going to take that. Rosie Cotton's pretty good. Rosie Cotton will trigger twice. Get to do this tw twice. Plus, I mean, it's white. It just gets a counter on anything. Gets you food. Whatever token is a battlefield, which is good in the human deck or the food deck. Fray of Orcs is also crazy. Uh, that does not trigger that. I do like Fray a lot. Mm, I think Crozy Cotton, though, is really good with Gandalf. And I think because of that, I'd, I wanted to see if I can try to make it work. Go uh, Gothmog's also good because it'll mass work too, which is interesting. But I like Rosie here. So here, if we're talking about humans, Aramor's also kind of sweet. He's really good in the human deck. A red-white humans could be quite good. This is also great in this deck because it also triggered twice, which is two creature again, plus two, plus two, and trample, which is kind of crazy. Huh, so I want to go red or green here. That's the question. They both like a lot of tokens. Uh, I think also I think Lorian Reveal is also crazy good. Um, Woe's Pathfinder is great. I wonder if I can get the Woe's Pathfinder to wheel. I think I might take the Quick Beam here and see if I can get that to wheel. Because I then I can get Woe's Pathfinder to wheel. Woe's Pathfinder should be great. Prince Imrahil is pretty good, though. What if you draw your second uh, card's turn, make a 1 1 human? That's really good. So is Lash is good. Rally's not bad. East, Far East Farthing Farmer is going to be good in the food deck. So Imrahil's a better card. Do I think that this does enough on its own? Draw your second card's turn, create a 1 1 human. That's really good. I think it's better than the rest. I'd like to pick it and hedge my bets here. Okay. This card's good if you're scrying a lot, but kind of mediocre otherwise. Markwood Spider. It's not bad. It's just kind of annoying, kind of a roadblock. I don't really love the other cards here in other colors. Pont is really good in the black-white deck, but I guess we could also hedge into that. But I think I'd rather hedge into a annoying creature that comes to the ground early. For a legendary creature card, it could be really good. And creature token double strike. That's not bad. This is also a pacifism, and this is. Oh, wait, would this trigger this? So this is a saga. Legend no, just legendary. Okay. Vanish is good. I mean, this is kind of sick. Get two legendaries. Right now, I have four legendaries in the deck. All right. Is this good? Uh, I don't really know. So, Randless or Hiram is good in the red deck. I don't think we're seeing blue right now. Generous ends pretty good just in terms of being able to four cycle for what we need i don't really care about the other cards right now i think that's the best pick here took reaper's pretty good another Rohirrim. stalwarts is not a bad card but another five drop may not ideal maybe i'll take the took reaper here i think and probably put him here on the sideboard we try to go green white food i don't think Frodo's is going to wheel i think that might have been the pack where Frodo would have been in no, I think I, this next pack would be what it would be. I can't imagine Frodo wheels, though. Yeah, okay. 
Westworld Rider's not bad. I do like Bombadil's Song. I think Bombadil's Song is actually quite good. One, one plus one plus one, Hexproof, and the Ring tempts you. That's a lot of different abilities for two mana. Like, each of those is pretty small, but I mean, Hexproof dodges removal, one one, count, one, one will, you know, win some combats you didn't think you would win, and the Ring tempting you is just all upside. I found the Ring to be better than I kind of thought originally. And I'll take a Banish here. Another a removal's good. We're looking like a decent green-white start. Eagles of the North. A nice Plane Cycler. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a Plane Cycler. And Revive the Shire is quite good. Makes a food, which is great. You can be returned a permanent from your hand or graveyard to your hand, which means buys back all of this so far, basically. So I do want some ch the cheap food payoffs. East Farthing Farmer would be good. What is this? Shire Scarecrow. I'm not playing that. I'll take this in the sideboard in case we open some crazy blue card. Like Rivendell, which is good, but maybe not what you need here. This card's pretty crazy. I mean, so I really like Denethor. I think Denethor is really good. Whenever uh, instead of a creature died, you make a 1-1 one, one, and you can sacrifice stuff to drain them. And the Precious is also crazy good. That being said, a 4-4 four, four for 4 that just landfalls makes a ring bearer. Seems good. Seems quite good. Also, I mean, if I make anything a ring bearer and it has like a, a leaves the battlefield effect, it triggers twice, funnily enough. Because the Legendary Permanence causes the uh, ability of a permanent control to trigger. So that does count. Oh, King of the Oath Breakers is crazy good. Tough. I really like this card. Never Oathbreaker, another tar spirit to control this spell. That being said, I don't really have any other spirits. It's just its own, but it is good. I think I'm just going to be really boring and take the draw card, basically, in this deck. We have a lot of legendary creatures, a lot of tempting. I think Aaron Rider's almost always just going to draw us a card. And I'm okay with that. Ooh, not great for us. Many Pardians is okay. This card's crazy good. Ringside's also very good. Um, I do think that we're taking the Many Pardians. We still splash if we need to. Let's get any land type. Um, it's not unreasonable for us to splash blue, see what we have. I think the key is going to be keeping Rosie alive and triggering Rosie a lot. Because right now, whenever you take a creative token, we'll want to counter another creature. I mean... Yeah, I mean, okay. So that's pretty good. I mean, we have a lot of uh, token-wise. It's not create a token. That does... Ooh, Bill the Pony is perfect in this deck. Bill the Pony is a very good card. I would also love a Brandywine Farmer, but Bill the Pony... Legendary Creature to Search for. It makes two foods on its own. You can sacrifice foods to give it uh, toughness. I mean, just great. Just absolutely great. That creates a food... Temps, Temps makes a food. Yeah, okay. So we're definitely doing all right in terms of token making. I would like some more um, like creature token producers in white and or green or food flying too. Um, two or three drop creatures would be better. I would love a couple, like another Took Reaper or something better. Um, but this is not looking bad. This is looking pretty solid. Like I think he here. Oh, Wolf Pathfinder is great. Um, I do like the Esquire of the King. I think Bath Song has been an all-star in this format. I think this card's great. gothmog has been quite good. I really like Surrounded by Orcs. I think it's hilarious, but also decent. But I think this Mana Dark here would be really good. So, do the Grey Havens, which is not bad. This is not super what we want. I do think a Pacifism is probably just what we want here. Just slow down the game. Red seems pretty open here. Ooh, but I will take... Yeah, another Aaron Rider, another draw card. And there's the East Farthing. So these are both good. Lost Legend I like a lot, but I do think East Farthing's amazing here. So we're going to make a token. We're going to pump up people. Yeah, this is exactly what we want. Nimble Hobbit is not really what we want here. Do I want another Land Cycler? I don't dislike it. I think this spell's kind of mediocre. I just really don't care about that. I'll take another Land for now. I don't know if I'm playing both. I'll probably play this over the birds. Do I, I'll take this over another Pacifism. But this lets me really cut down on my land count, which is nice. Um, sure. Because, like, here I can play 15 lands pretty comfortably. I got double Land Cyclers. I got mini partings. Like, I have a lot of ways to find mana really low on. That I think I can pretty easily run 15 lands in this deck and be pretty happy. And I've been really finding that you flood out kind of a bit. Like, you the... 
getting to tutor or um not tutor but rummage not loot apologies the third one uh loot with the ring has been really helpful but even then i've just been flooding out a decent amount this guy's quite good i mean it's almost always going to cost three i guess now not so much but we do still have a lot of tempt and we have one two three legendary so less now um that being said if we can pick up a good legendary it'd be great i don't know if i'm playing both of these but we'll see really good green or white legendary preferably both green white legendary will be red I'm trying to think who the good green white legendaries are. Frodo's really good. Um, I think Aragorn Company Leader is also quite good. I think that's green white. Radagast. Radagast the Brown's great. Would love a Radagast. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, sorry. Not blast, not the last pick yet. There we go. All right. So File is pretty weak. I don't really like File. Second Breakfast is not bad, but it's not what I want to first pick. I'll take the Dune Nine Rangers again. I think this card's still good. So, Chasement Elves is okay, but we're not really scrying much. Creature with false one was one. And whenever a creature blocks, it becomes blocked. The creature loses all abilities. That's fine. I could take a Shadow Fact and maybe splash it. I'm not really hurting for another Pacifism. I kind of like the Shadow Facts. I don't know if I'm going to play it. Like, Shire Sh Sh Sheriff is uh, great in this deck. Shire Sheriff is exactly what we want. Ride and Ruin, not so much. Uh, I mean, we don't have a ton of Legendaries right now. I'm probably going to just take this Westfold Rider. Yeah, I mean... Refrath Ruin's too expensive, I think. I think there's good cards. I don't think I'm necessarily playing any of those. Picture of Gondor is pretty good... I do like this card a bit. Bag and Porter's quite good. No, I think I want to go a little wider here. I think having the 1-1 one, one is going to be good for the Tempted Ring. Um, I do think Bag and, Port Bag and Porter is really good, but we shall see. We only have two removal spells, so removal is probably one of those things we really should look for. Um, that being said, third Errand Rider. Is that worth it? Elven Farsight's not bad. I just like the Errand Rider. I think Errand Rider's good. Maybe I like him too much, but I think he's powerful. Heaven's Bravery does seem good in a deck like this. So I think like this is the kind of combat trick that I would play in this deck. I don't love the card, but I think... Ooh, it ends Fury. Okay, okay. So now we're figuring out. Now we definitely have to grind out to cut stuff, um, which also probably means Shadow Facts is probably getting the boot because it's going to be annoying to splash. Um, this card's probably not good enough. We're only finding Rosie or Gandalf. And it's four mana, so that's probably in the boot there. Shire, Sheriff's really good. Took Reapers did it good. This old Rider probably isn't exactly where we want to be. Um, we're at 20 creatures. Okay, so we need to cut some creatures. I could probably cut an Aaron Rider. I don't think that's a bad idea. Esquire is probably less good in this deck than could be otherwise. I don't think I'm playing Second Breakfast, but I'm to take it. I just don't really like Nimble Hobbit. I think it's just too expensive, and like sacrificing foods is fine, but not in love with it. This card's not really getting the trigger to go off very often, which is a little disappointing. I mean, I get a trigger off Bill and Rosie, which is not bad, so I mean, I do get to, for Bill, make four... Um, food for Rosie make two and then all that second fog okay definitely gotta figure this out so removal spells I mean I could brave a cut I could spider I like brandywine farmer here all right so maybe cut one of these um oh also for trigger equip being twice so that's good Bombadil's Song. Is Bombadil's Song better here than Pippin's Bravery? And I think I'm going to say purposes of our deck, maybe. Rupert Spider's okay. Many Partings is okay. Let's cut a Esquire. Let's cut a Bombadil Song. Let's go to 15 lands. Which I think we can do in this deck. Let's cut one other card. 
could just be protector, but I think protector's pretty decent. It could be a fog. Yeah, maybe it's a fog. So right now, removal spells. Shire Sheriff, Int Fury. Revive's me pretty good in this deck. Um, one fog, so that's three. And then banish is four, and then just some combat tricks. Okay. Mercred Spider maybe isn't worth it. I'm cutting Mirkwood here. Put another Rider in. I could put the Esquire in. I could put a Bombadil Song. How many creatures are we at? We're at 18 creatures still. So maybe it's worth playing another trick still. I'm not really worried about dropping a one drop. Maybe that's the key. All right, maybe we're going to try this out and we'll see how this goes. Okay. Um, I mean, this hand seems pretty good. It's not amazing, but it seems all right. I mean, I think we're just going to Rider, put something on the bottom, and then figure out where we want to go from there. Okay, Int Fury is good. I believe this is one, one counter target creature, and then if it's power four or greater. Uh, oh. Oh, so it just it gets a counter, and then if it. Okay, okay, okay. I get it. I understand. Took me a second. I'm probably putting. Let's put Bombadil Song on the bottom for now. I think it's probably better, but having two mana up is going to be rough for the next few turns. Sure, okay. That is fine. Not ideal here, but this is okay. We get a land, which is what we did want. So, I mean, this is, we're running very few lands in our deck, but stuff like that lets us actually do it. Let's make us Brandywine Farmer. Let's just play this Farmer out. They want to counter my Farmer. Yeah, this is the easiest thing in the world for to let you counter. I do not care about that. So I'm going to assume at four mana they're going to have a Gandalf, but we'll see. If they just attack and pass, we know they have Gandalf. Yep, they have Gandalf. Okay, okay. Cool. So let's just play East Farthing Farmer for now. We're losing the extra damage. If they want to counter this, A-OK. -okay. Same thing. I don't really mind. And now I can also have the combat trick to save it if I need to, if they have just a burn spell. Which is fine with me. And if, like I said, oh, they didn't flash in Gandalf, so they don't have Gandalf, because they think they would have right then and there. If they want to try to use, like, the three damage burn spell, I can Pippin to save it pretty easily, because I can even sacrifice a food if I want to. So they'd have to do a huge burn spell here, and I do not think... I mean, Grant, don't get me wrong, Soothing a Smeagol will also do it. But I think that, that means for now we are A-OK. -okay. Four mana is when this deck starts getting scary. They could have Bath Song, they could have... Sure, Isolation, which is fine. That is, if they're going to Isolation this, that is A-OK. -okay. I mean, don't be wrong, we're still taking damage, but... I also just kind of get to undo that spell in turns with the damage. It does not bother me. I don't mind just playing Sheriff here. Yeah, and let's just... Sure. Same thing, I don't mind... So they use... I mean, like I so said, they could be trying to tempo us out, but they're not. They're missing the, missing the burn parts of that spell now. Okay. So now they have this, but this is fine. So whenever you cast an instant sorcery, it does good stuff. That being said, um, this will be a 3-3. Three, three. So, yeah, target this guy. I believe this should work. This should be a 4-4 four, four now. Yep. Perfect. Kill Gandalf and get in for 4. Didn't have to use my Pippin's Bravery, so I still have that up. I have my treasure or my food up. So, okay, so they get to get their guy back. That's fine. Okay. Um, let's go to combat and see what they do here. No blocks. Cool with me. Play this Errand Rider, draw a card, and puts it on the bottom. Um, I do think I'm going to put this. Pippin's Bravery on the bottom now, because now I can play this and I'll have six lands for Quick Beam. And I think Quick Beam is going to be really good. And just about to fill two creatures get plus two plus two and gain Trample. So that's a lot of damage. Um, sure. This is, yeah, this is fine. 
Once again, this is kind of like, okay, whatever. I, I, yeah, I lose a 3-2, and it's it's good here. This is probably when this is best. But I still have a 2-3. It blocks both their guys pretty well. They need to find ways to canter pretty quickly. And I will eat a food here again. I do not mind. I think most of my food payoffs are either on the bottom or used now. I'm going to put breaking on top. Interesting. Oh, they're putting the foray on top. Okay, okay. That makes sense. Uh, Sure. That's pretty good here. I do wish I could do something about that, but I don't think I can. They did have to get rid of this, which is good. Okay. Um. So I think I get to do that. And I'm just gonna pass. So the nice part is, so they get to do this here and they're gonna kill the farmer. But if they go to attacks, I get to flash in quick beam and then kill their forks. Yeah, so they get to pitch, they have to pitch something here. Why did I think that had a flash? Oh, I'm the idiot, it's fine. I thought that had a flash. I don't know why, I assumed that ability um, with quick beam being the name, but that's on me. Okay, that was just me misreading the card. That's fine, I'm, I'm the idiot. All right, well, let's go to the next game. Okay, um, we're keeping this hand. This hand seems good. Nothing crazy, but fine. Sure, so they're gonna be a little aggressive, but the food we have in this deck's gonna be nice. Um, cool, that'll be good if we can get a guy to stick around for a turn. We're gonna have to tap out for guys. Sure, that's a very good card. You got it. Okay. All right, cool. So let's just play this. We'll draw a card, put it on the bottom. I'm probably putting... I think I'm gonna put Revive on the bottom for now. I'm not super in the need for it. If we want to kill this, I'm just gonna play Build a Pony. Build a Pony bricks them pretty hard. Um, if they want to kill this, not the biggest deal in the world. Sure, pretty good. Um, I do think it's worth blocking. Yeah, I'm gonna block here. I think that's gonna be good. Ooh, Shire Sheriff's gonna be quite good. Yeah, so I can even block the Rahiram and to sacrifice a food, I believe. Yeah, which is not bad. Which I probably will do if they attack. There's a food. Yep, this is fine. No, but yeah, block here, thank you. Activate ability. You. Sacrifice of food, yep. Yeah. I mean, so if I want to use a removal spell here, that's fine. Oh, sure. Okay. That's A okay. I mean, like, I still avoid all this damage here. Sure. Um, let's get another green source. Put them to hand. Do I just... I think I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna sacrifice a token, yes. Let's get rid of your Rahiram. I don't want to deal with him, so I won't. And now I have Bombadil's Song, which I can use to block, depending on what they want to attack with. Or just, if they have a burn spell, I'll use it to just candle the burn spell. I can flash in Gandalf next turn. I get in Fury. I got options now. Now we have options. Okay, so the ring's gonna attempt. They're gonna attempt with the ring. Uh, cool. Good choice. So they're gonna uh, loot. And they make the two on flyer, right? A okay with me. Uh, you got it. I will take three here. Do they have a removal spell? No. Okay. It's pretty good. So they get a, now they're refilling their hand, which so these are pretty good top decks from them. Now let's sacrifice food though and get some life. Okay. Um, don't need to attack. I'm gonna hold up Bombadil's Song or Gandalf, and then from there, I think I'm pretty good. 
and then I don't mind this. We're only taking one still. Or we're taking three still here. That's fine. I can always kill the orc army if I need to, which is the nice part. Because I have Ents Fury, so we can always do that if it is needed. Which, like I said, we'll, we'll see. We can either kill the orc army or the Mordor trebuchet. Probably the orc army because they're in black red. I'm not as worried about the trebuchet. I mean, a 4 or 5 flash is pretty good here. Okay, they're just drawing a lot of cards again. I mean, I respect this. They're drawing a ton of cards. It's like, they're 11 cards deeper in their deck than we are. Jesus. They've drawn three cards twice? Yeah, okay. So, make another 1-1. One, one. Okay. Draw another card. Yeah, I mean, they are, they're going deep. All right, let's flash in Gandalf. That's... I mean, that's about as good as it gets. So let's play Rosy Cottonwood. I'd like to put a counter on you and a counter on you, yeah. Make that a 4-4. Yeah, I mean, I'm... Do I attack with both? Yeah, I'm not really scared of the attack back. I still have Shire Sheriff. Yep. That's a three nasty. And this deck is going crazy. They honestly might deck out. Like, they're at 12. I mean, they're at 12 cards. They have time. But, I mean, like, that's kind of insane. Um, I'm going to pass now. I have Hexproof up. I have Food... They've drawn a lot of cards, but I mean, what are they digging for, I guess is my question. Double Rosie there was fantastic. That was huge. I do think the Black Red deck is one of the best decks in the format. Pretty, pretty, like, succinctly would say Black Red's one of the best decks in this format. I think they have Black Breath. So because Black Breath doesn't target... I'm gonna do that... So now they could use removal spell on Shire Sheriff, which would be not great. But I think Gandalf is better just to have as a, a big body. Um, I think Gandalf maybe could have died there. But it's the fact that I think they would have had Black Breath, which would have killed Rosie and Gandalf. I guess I could have done it and Gandalf would have lived still. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I should have waited. Sure. Amass one. I mean, they only have three mana left. It's not a ton. They, they can have the um, claim the precious, but it's sorcery speed. Which means they have to use it now, or it's just not available on their turn. They can't hit Gandalf with it. They can hit Shire Sheriff. Yeah, so they had Black Breath. 100% knew it. Okay. Now I feel smart. Okay. So that being said... What if I just said... Uh, Gandalf, with your int's power, fight this trebuchet. And now both you swing for 10. I mean, yeah, this is tough. So they get to amass two here, but I'm at 13. I can eat two foods. And I have this banish from Edoras, which means I can get rid of it for three mana. Then you know what they do? Genos big, Sheriff's big. They Getting killed and Sheriff gets their guy back. So there's a lot of like good options for them here. Yes, they're gonna lash here. That makes sense. So they get their four, three back. Which makes sense. Sure. And then this guy's gonna do a lot more damage this turn, which is not ideal, but A-OK. -okay. So he hits this for six. I do to loot here. Tear at nine cards in deck. Yep. I'm gonna take three more. I mean, I'm just gonna need some food in response. Because I can. I don't mind this. It's not the end of the world. What do they have? Gimli's Axe. Interesting. So they, I think they're... Yeah, they're just dead here. This is fine. Okay, so I'm just going to exile the Rahiram, and then um, I'm going to hit him with Gandalf. So, exile. And Gandalf to the face. Yep. Cool. Good game. All right, yeah. Uh, let's go to the next one. All right, this hand's pretty slow. I do not think I can keep this. This hand's uh, slower, slow also, but I think definitely keepable. 
I do think the bottom of those songs going down though. Um, and I think we're just gonna four cycle on turn one. Hopefully, we're, if we need to revive the Shires there to get someone back, yep, doing the same thing we're doing. Haha! -ha, I will, in response to your cycle, I will cycle. Um, what are we playing first? I'm probably playing Brandywine Farmer first, which is maybe a little weird, but I think it's fine. There we go, Patient Plotter. Cool, cool. This blocks um, Gollum really well, actually, which I do not mind. So they want to attack, I'll trade. They could have a removal spell here, which I wouldn't be that surprised with. But it's like, it feels bad to kill Brandwine Farmer because I just get a food out of it. No, okay, so yeah, they're not. Sure. The nice, so the, the food deck I've noticed feels a lot weaker than a lot of the other decks. But it does also, yes, they're not attacking, which I understand. But it does have a really good kind of stall plan, which I think is powerful. Yeah, so you're a 3-3 three, three now. Do you want to trade now? <laughs> She's like, they're like, it's like, I don't wanna. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I think I am. Yeah, this is fine. I think I'm probably going to plane cycle the eagles. I think the Ent will be more powerful with the with Rosie, so we'll see. Oof, but that's a good one. Okay, that's pretty rough for me. Okay, so maybe I'm actually doing it the other way around. So maybe I think the Eagles might be more powerful. Okay, so definitely not exactly what I wanted to draw there. One, two, three. I think I'm gonna pass. Um, I think I'm gonna just play in cycle and just play the Eagles next turn. The problem is Old Man Willow just gets to a free attack, sacrifice Limbus to go into the, um, which I mean, granted, they don't get the three life from it, but it's like you get a sacrifice, because it's just an artifact, right? Another, uh, art, another creature or to, oh, so it can't actually. Oh, okay, so maybe I should have played it then. That's fine. Um, I was thinking you could sacrifice food, which is, it's not true, it's token specifically. That's fine. We're gonna take five here and they're gonna leave, which is definitely not ideal, but be okay. Resolve all, sure. I don't think you're gonna sacrifice anything here, or at least I couldn't imagine you would be. That will not block. So let's play in cycle. Uh, let's eat a food. I don't want to do both here, just in case I need them for anything. That's going to be really good. I don't think I need to do that currently because next turn I can do both. And this is nice here because it lets us attack with both creatures or attack with East Farthing. Yeah. Sure. Because next turn I can Rosie and Fog their Old Man Willow, which is going to be really big, I think. Because it'll lock down the Ring Bear. Uh, Old Man Willow can't attack anymore, so you can't get his triggers. And then Rosie can start pumping up, like, my Eagles, which will be good. And if they have removal, they're going to use it on... Yeah, that's kind of what I was afraid of, but it's... It's okay. The nice part is that East Farthing can still get in underneath, get over Frodo with Rosie out, so that's good. All right, so mass, that's, okay, sure. Oh, this is a lot of damage we're taking. This is okay for now. Yep. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's play Rosie. Let's make a food, put a counter on you. Let's play this, lock you down. 
And we're gonna attack for three here. Now I have food, I got Protector next turn, so if they don't theoretically kill Rosie, then I get to make another, put a one counter on probably Protector of Gondor we might go to. I could put it on um, East Farthing again. That's a good card. That's a very good card. Yeah. That's really good here. That's unfortunate. Yep, that's really good here. That's unfortunate. It's yeah, definitely not ideal. We're gonna have to start really trying to like gain life, which is, you know, a little more difficult. We have food, which is good, but that sucks. Yeah, I have to lose Rosie here to basically nothing. I mean, I get to block the damage, but it's like, it's, it sucks I don't get to trigger a uh, Protector of Gondor off this. That's pretty good. You have two, three, so it's only gonna cost you uh, two. That's quite good. Oh, that'll work though. So I do think I just play this. Make the 1-1. One, one. This is a really good card, but I do think I just need to... Oh, hold on. Cancel. Uh, let's have... So this would be... Oh, no, because... The... Yeah, no, this is fine. It's only done one damage, so yeah, this is fine. Shivam bot kills Frodo. The Massacre. The Unholy Massacre. And we're gonna get in for four again. We're not in a super ideal spot. That's for sure. They could um, kill Old Man Willard with Gollum here. Bring back Gollum, which is not bad. And we're out of cards. Like, we are empty-handed. And they have the the uh, mirror up, which now costs more. How'd they cast that? Oh, it costs three left. Oh, that's... Okay, that's annoying. Sure, and we still have a 3-3. Three, three. Annoying, but it's fine. This is pretty good. That's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't know how we're really gonna beat that. That's also gonna be annoying. Okay, we're not in a great spot here. This is not ideal for sure. Um, I'm not really sure even how we really get out of this, honestly. We need to revive the Shire. That's not it. That ain't it, home slice. Not attacking, because Legos blocks all day. Could we get to revive the Shire and get the Eagles back? Which is, I think is what we would get back. Even that doesn't even help because of Legolas. Oof. This is not, not in a great spot. Okay. Sure. Uh, we're pretty dead here. Yeah, because I can... So this would be five. Yeah, which... It just feels like we just didn't really have stuff come together. Like, it feels like they had a lot of removal. We didn't even have much removal. I don't know what happened. It really feels like we did a lot and none of it ended up mattering. Like, Frodo killed off our Rosie. They were able to kill off with the bitter um, to kill off our Shivam. I don't know. It really felt like we did a lot of work, and then it just kind of was like, uh, none of it mattered. Right, let's gain a lot of life here. We're not dead. But they're definitely not in a good spot. Okay, and now we're just... Alright, once again, 15 lands in this deck. So, I mean, you know. There's, there's only so much you can do. We're still in just a very bad spot here. I don't know why you played this card. I think this card's absolutely trash and limited. I mean, that being said, like, I mean, there's nothing we can do here. This is frustrating. Like, they're, the fact that they're splashing Frodo off, like, a single white here, yeah, like, they have really good cards in their deck, which is, I mean, their deck's good. Like, I think Legolas is fine. I think Smeagol's good. I think Old Man Will is crazy good. Perica Took's good. But, like, you're running Frodo in an all-black-green deck. I guess you have a lot of legendaries is the thing. God, this card's killing us, though. They just have so many legendaries. They're just burying us in card advantage right now. I'm honestly surprised they haven't just been a mass yet. Like, they have the ability to mass orcs to sacrifice. Them. They've had that for turns. Like, it feels like they're playing really poorly, but... I mean, it just seems like their deck is just 
better than ours right now. And then, yeah, they can trigger that also. Yep. I gotta keep it where it is. It's, it's, it's in the perfect spot. Yeah. Build the pony doesn't help us. Um, I guess it kind of helps us. Let's just block Took and then kill it. But Bill Point dies afterwards, which is definitely not what we want. But I mean, you know, here we are. Is this only at sorcery speed? Back when the creature died, destroyed. You could, yeah, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like I would have just early on, like, sacked uh, Old Man Willow to that and then just been like, cool, I have a huge ogre on me. What are you going to do about it? Because the answer for us is not a lot. Our hand's empty. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, you're good. It's gonna kill two creatures, and I'm done here. All right, let's try this next game. Okay, this hand seems, once again, a little slow, but okay. Get a plane cycle. Okay, cool. There, it looks like they, I mean, that's a good card. We'll see what color they get. Black, okay, yeah. I mean, it, the problem is, okay, once again, deck. I literally have 15 lands. Can you can you not? Um, it really feels like just black is such a good color in this format. Yep, I, we have one of those. It's in their decks somewhere. I swear to God, it's in it's in there. Um, but we're not seeing it, and that's uh, been difficult. So we have the fog, which should be good. Okay, so that's... I'm just gonna get fogged. That's actually really annoying. Um, oh my good deck. What is? Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of this for now. Um, I just don't want to take four. I kind of blocked with farmer, but I mean, you know, I can play, play Bill pretty easily, and Bill's pretty pretty happy just hanging out. That's a good card to have there. Um. I'm still gonna play Bill here. All right, so they get to attack with the patrol. We'll take four, but next time we can flash and Gandalf and block the patrol, which is nice because we can make it a five-five with Bill's ability, which is good. But I like that. That part's not bad. Good job, Bill. I mean, look at how can you not allow Bill the pony? Like, look at him. He's so cute. His baskets of apples and just doing his best in his big old handkerchief, neckerchief. What a good boy. If you don't know anything about me, know that I love animals. Animals that chill, that's my jam. Like, I don't need to be hanging out with no tigers, but like, you've got like an old sad lab, like, we'll hang. Really interesting. That feels really odd, mostly just because they don't get to attack with it now. Like, oh, okay, okay, okay. That makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really cool play. I like that. This card's great. I would have loved this card in the deck. But alas, here we are. Yep, pretty good. And now they get to trigger it, which is super annoying. That's so annoying. Okay. Oh, fuck me, I guess. All right, that sucked. No attacks, all right. On the plus side, um, we can revive the sheriff to get back Rosie to flash in Rosie, which will be good. We can play Protector, we can play East Farthing. There's a lot of food triggers there. Can you stop doing that? Holy shit balls! We are absolutely ruined. This deck is crazy. What are these decks people have? Why can't I draft these cards? All right, this is sick. All right, this is what I'm talking about. I really hope this works. That's the blockers. Block. One blocker. You. Kill him? Please? Yeah, you had to sacrifice. Yeah! We did it! I mean, they're still gonna get the trigger off, which is crazy. I mean, this that card's just gonna kill us. Like, we need to have a way to deal with that so soon. Yeah, once again, just mill us again. Okay, this is the top card. That's fine. So not, like, you know, thrilled about it. 
So let's revive the Shire. Get back a Rosie. Let's attack with a Gandalf here. Do I flash in Rosie and do more damage? I think not for now. I'm not super worried. And I can this way I can flash in and pump up Bill if I need to. Cause I'll pump up Bill, just make him a 2-5 and block Spiegel. Like that's fine. Yep, that's fine. Not ideal. We're getting drained and now Smeagol gets the trigger again. We Yep. No, stop it! Jesus! Right, yeah. I can make things a lot bigger, so that's good. I get two triggers of this. You. You. Uh, my turn. That's pretty good. Protector of Gondor! Gondor. All right. Um, this one bigger, bigger. Do I care about Gandalf anymore? How much do I care about Gandalf? Not a ton. Gandalf, go. Pony. Um, sure. We still don't die, so that's good. Do not mind, though. That is a-okay. Let's play our own Pathfinder. Still gonna drain us with their killing the soldier, which is annoying. They have a lot of food, also. Yep, they're gonna do the same thing they've been doing every time. The fact that it just triggers off itself like that is like, okay. Yep, same thing they've been doing. We're at 70 cards, which we're not dead. We're still, I mean, not having a ton of lands in this deck is actually gonna start hurting us. Yep, make that the ring bearer. Our ints again and our bravery, not ideal. What are we drawing? God dang it. Okay, okay, no, this is fine. We're making this. You. I can do some of the same blocks, but like I just been wondering, like I wonder if I'm just like, all right, jam. Now I just jam. Five, six, seven. I mean, or yeah, that's seven mana. So, so I put it on Gandalf. I put it on someone else. I put it on the soldier. It would be one, two, three, four, five. Let me get a six, six. All right, we're jamming. We're 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 just jamming. I don't. Oh. Plus three plus three. So that'd be a, yeah, five, seven. Pony. And now we go to combat. You're in not the best spot now. Like you have a really good combo, but I mean like I have food I can eat. I have big lads, big lads. Rosie's really doing the work here in this game. I don't care if they eat the Protector of Gondor. Because this is a lot of damage. Like, they have to throw a lot of bodies in the way here. This theoretically just goes to a 5-7, so I don't lose Gandalf. Even if I lose Gandalf, it's whatever. Like I said, they have to put more bodies here in the way now. Because they don't, this is 14. This is lethal. Yeah, sure. Um, this is fine. Um, you have to have a trick, which is fine. I'm assuming the lifelink one, or... Sure, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a okay. Once again, I don't I don't care if I lose two people here. You're still taking thirteen. Like I feel okay here. And I have woes next turn, so I can attack with everyone and just woes to kill them, I think. So I have one, two, three, four, five. I guess they have five blockers. But I mean, that's in a rough spot for them. 
sure. I guess I go to two. So we'll see what I draw. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see what I draw. Mm, that would have been a very good card to have. Really upset about that one. Not gonna lie. I don't think it is a good game. If they want to concede... One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I can attack with everyone. But the Pathfinder... Kind of decide because this, this is a trample. It does. Never mind. They are dead. They have a combat trick, right? Like they have to. Like I mean, they can survive here if they want. I'm at 19. They lose most of their board. I don't really care. Sure, yeah, this is fine. I mean, I don't care. You're losing most of your board. This is fine, though. Yeah, like, I, this does not bother me. Yeah, this is A-OK. -okay. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's still rough here. I think I maybe could have tried to put it on Bill. I just don't know if it was correct to do so. I mean, I still have Bill active, which is fine. Sure, my turn. That's pretty good. Now you're pretty screwed here. You can't pump yourself. You can only pump other creatures. I know this. Another target creature. Yep. For sure, Aziz. And now that ability's gone, and now I have a lot of food to eat, and now we're okay. Yep. That's fine. You have three foods. I'm okay. I'm a nine card. So they, I mean, they could just be trying to deck me out, which is not unreasonable. Yeah, so this is fine. Sure, sure. And I have good attacks now. They lost their Pathfinder. Which means my attacks are all pretty good. That's annoying, but fine. I'm at 19. I'll just take hits. I do not care about that card. My turn. Okay. That's... I would like to stop drawing shit, though. Oh, right. Funny. All right, Billiam. Go get him. I don't want to deck huh? De oh no. I mean, I'll... Like, yeah, I mean, they can make 1-1s, one they can sacrifice things, but I'm going to try. Like, I'm going to try to kill them. This is 10. Yeah, this is, yeah. So I got a 1. Once again, this is fine. I have treasures I can eat. Or food I can eat. I'm at seven, so I'm not dead. They finally had to kill that. To drain me for one here? Oh, to do it again? Can you stop doing that? That's getting really annoying. I could pretty easily lose this. I'm probably gonna lose this actually. They they're probably gonna mill me out here. Oh no, good, good, thank you. Okay, that's I don't know if I want that right now. I might like I said uh I do not want this card. Sure. 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 Once again, I'll pretty happily eat this food. Do this. Four, five. I'm gonna three. Yeah, so this. There. We did it. Okay. Jesus, that game was too long. 
I might have been able to win that earlier turn, but I really, the way they were holding up, they were, it seemed like they had a removal spell. And I didn't want to go all in on that removal spell, but I don't know. That was close. That was really close. Okay, well, we got there. Jesus. It was Pathfinder. Thank God. I build the pony. Build the pony. Riding it out. Yeehaw, cowboy. This hand does absolutely nothing, which is upsetting. Because uh, I can forward cycle, and then it literally just has combat trick, five cost removal, like, regrowth. Which means we're not keeping this. Which is maybe a tad, a, a tad bit upsetting, but it just doesn't do anything here. So we're gonna mulligan. This hand sucks. Ah, crap. I have to go to five here, and I don't like this either. Um, Bombada Song and a Plains. I really hope we draw some other land source, but I need a green source to do this. I mean, Aaron Rider, if I get to three, will be good. That's a plain cycler, which is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't want to, but it is definitely what's gonna happen. It's a good card to have. I don't know if I need to, no, I do not yet. Okay, cool. See, the annoying part is I could play the Farmer, but it doesn't actually block Battle Squad Goblin because of its ability. So we'll see. That being said, I do not mind using it to... Um, the Shrift's ability, or Sheriff. I keep saying Shrift. It's, it's Sheriff. It's just with an I, which is weird. Because I can exile the Amass token. So if they decide to Amass here, I can just get rid of the big Amass token, which would be really good. This is Fontic 4. What do you got? You got a lot of mana. That's pretty good. That's a good card. Can't get rid of that, can I? No. I think I'm just gonna play Protector here, because Protector can block Battle Squad if I need to. I can double block their thing. The Voodoo actually I get is nice. I mean, removal spells are not great here, but I mean, this does... Okay, so that's a pretty good creature. They don't have any equipment. Oh, they didn't even attack. That seems odd to me. So the one ones are going to be really annoying. Attack on this 3-3. Three, three. Uh, I mean, I do think I'm just going to... Piven's Bravery here. Do I even need to sack a food? Not really. No, just go for it. Make it a 5-5, five five. yeah. And then... Let's just draw a card. Yeah. They get three one ones. They can't attack with them yet. So we get a draw a card. I mean, we're, we're putting that card at the bottom. Yeah, it's a good card, but I don't need it right now. I can sheriff away the 4-4. Four, four. A lot of dorky idiots is the problem. I mean, we'll see what they have in hand. They didn't play anything. Let's play this. I'm gonna throw this pie at you. Okay, they got a 12. They got a bunch of 1-1s, one which is annoying. I mean, it does kill a lot of our stuff. The Sheriff's basically just has to exist now and hope he doesn't die. That's pretty hard for them. They get a Tempt here. There's an Attempt 1, so that's good. They don't get a loot or anything yet. But I don't have a great way to deal with the 1-1s one in this deck. Not attacking. They're being defensive, which is reasonable. Probably do attack with all of my idiots. They can eat one of them? That seems okay. I mean, if they want to eat, like, one of my guys, that's fine. I don't love it, but I mean, yeah, they're probably going to have to trade. Yeah, they're just full out trading. I mean, they could have a combat trick. I don't know. Nope, okay. Need another food. If I draw a land, I can start activating Pathfinder, and that card we learned is good. Cool. 
gore bag. Bag of gore. Ooh, that's pretty good. And now we pass. Not attacking into gore bag. But I get to... Flashing Gandalf, which seems like it'll be pretty good. Okay, that's annoying because the orcs have death touch now. So not not ideal, per se. We attack with Gorbag? Nope. Okay, well, here comes Gandalf. <laughs> Wizard! I'll sacrifice food, might as well get some life. Seems good here. That would be better with Landfall. <sighs> Tagging with Gandalf sucks because of the Death Touch. It's annoying, but so here's my Rangers. They're just a 4-4. Four -four. They're just large. They're large lads. So. Um, depending on what I'm doing extra, I may just be attacking with the Rangers. Um, if they die to Gothmog, that's not great, but it's okay. They have two cards in hand. I'm wondering what the hell they could be. So that's a great draw here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's an amazing draw. So I'm gonna make a creature ring bear. So make this idiot creature ring bear, because I don't care about it. So now I get to attack with both of these guys. And that's fine. If they want to block here, I'm gonna make them take a lot of damage for it. fine. Lose those guys. Not the biggest deal in the world. Now they don't have... Yeah, they have to eat that. And now I can kind of just swing with whoever I want, because Pathfinder's going to pump up a lot of people. And that, like said... Oh, they, right. They both get that touch. Yep, yep, yep. That's annoying. Shush war. Still annoying. Totes. Annoying. I mean, I, I'm going to have to trade here. I think I'm genuinely winning this game by just pumping up and continuing to just hit in for more damage. Because realistically... Okay, interesting. Like, I wonder if I just attack with Gandalf. Because if they just chomp, they die. I mean, I think I do. I think I make him do it. Because I can play Generous End if I need to. If they just attack here, they die. If they just block this way. And I think this I'm fine with. Yeah, I mean, I think I'm just going to let this happen. Gandalf's fine, but nothing crazy. And now I just get to play this guy out. Who's just bigger than Gandalf, even. So you're still in the same situation. So now I can tackle both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I don't know the, I don't know what the heck was in their hand. Like, they had to play in the third color. There's no way they have just two cards in hand the entire time and just have nothing to do. It, it had to be a three-color deck. They just stumbled. But cool. I mean, that's three wins. That's good. Um, this food deck's... Feels a little underpowered, so I'm glad to get the wins where I can. But yeah, let's go to the next game. I'm really... I haven't seen Tuck Reaper in any of these games. Like, it's fine. Alright, so Build the Pony is going to be... Oh, wait, Build the Pony Ghost 4. It's fine. Brandon Wise Farmer. Alright, we're seeing Gandalf again. I like Gandalf. That card's been good. I'm going to need another land. Oh, that's quite... Okay, thank you, deck. Appreciate it. Um, that's all I want now. Don't know more. But that's good. This blocks the Easterling great. This is the masses one that dies. Yeah, perfect. I don't, don't, I don't give a shit. Give me a food. Feed me, Seymour. Hiya. I'm a coming. Ooh, she a coming. Let's play out dat dat boy dat pony. Y'all ever see a pony like this before? Um, I could I draw a land. I might play Dunedine and then just ring bearer it up. They have a combat trick and I don't really care. 
They could just amount one to a mass one. Sure. That's pretty good here. And the target of a spell. Yep, maybe it figures this out. Okay, so. I think I just play Rangers here. Play a land drop. Put it on Bill. And now Bill's gonna start swinging. Bill, start doming him. Just pony to the face repeatedly. Got it. That is more frustrating. How could you do that to my beautiful pony boy? Oh, that's pretty good. Target of a spell. Ha ha! Delicioso. Oh, uh, that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. That's that's sick. Yep, I really like that. Um, I mean, that being said, they can make a treasure here, which is annoying, but it's fine. That being said, put a counter on my person. Uh, give him a whack. Dog, if you have a second shield up there, but are you shitting me? Oh, you're kidding me. That sucks for me. It's fine. Okay. I mean, fuck you. <laughs> Just like, yeah, I mean, fair enough, dude. Yep, that's annoying. I mean, like, double sh I can't expect double shelobs there. That's crazy. I mean, I think we're fine. Um, that's pretty good, but I still think we're okay. I mean, I really wish they would have not locked down my stuff. Do I care about this still? Yay, nay. I'd rather mask one. I think because of the bats, he's not doing anything anyway, so I think I will block here. I don't really care if they amass one. I take one damage because of the bats. But I don't want to just take, start taking two damage repeatedly for free. That's good. Oh, Bill. Um, I think I'm going to flash in if I need to. Again, hopefully a good beater. I think this way they're going to attack with stuff in the air and this is okay. Yes, yeah, so they're going to do this. If you have third Shelob's Ambush, I'm... You got it. Yeah, like, don't have a third one. Cool, thanks. I'm like, I can't... Yeah, right. I can't beat three. Um, That's pretty good here. Trade this for the Oathbreaker, and I do not mind. Yep. Out of four. But that's not... Oh! They can sack the treasure. Yep. Yep, they got me. That's... Oh, they don't even have to. Okay, that works too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they... they I was at a couple ways. Okay. That's... <sighs> the double shelobs. Come on! That was absolutely just a massacre. I think we were doing okay. The... Oh, having the king just be able to like fade that like fade that uh removal like removal spell and then to then have a removal spell for my other big creature just really unfortunate um it was close definitely close but you know it's fine they also could have just sacrifice the treasure there and attack with everything and i was dead either but you know is how it is okay so um i think green white food's pretty bad uh <laughs> i think we learned this i think rosie's really powerful and has really good effects whenever you make a token 
you get to, you know, put a one counter on something. Um, the problem being is like, we just really feel underpowered. Like, Woe's Pathfinder is crazy good, but it's nothing to do with the food deck. It's just random. Just the ability is really powerful as an activated ability late game, and you can kind of survive to think it's late game. But I mean, you don't have a great way to deal with flyers. Your removal is pretty slow in this format. Fog is, there's a lot of sacrifice decks, so Fog feels pretty bad. Like it just, it do, Pathfinder doesn't feel great in this format. Banish from Edoras is a sorcery, which feels really bad. I mean, Shire Shura is pretty good, but it's a 2-2. There's so much removal that kills this that honestly, it's pretty vulnerable just being killed off. Like it really feels like green, white, would be good in other formats, but it just doesn't feel like it does enough here. Like, it, it's too slow to be an aggro deck and not big enough to be a late game deck. Mid, it could do mid range okay because there's some good green creatures, but it just really doesn't feel like it has a lot of the power that a lot of the other decks have. Um, I think Green White's probably one of the worst decks we've played so far in the I've played so far in the format. That being said, like I said, I think there's advantages and disadvantages. I think. Granted, don't be wrong, I lost the first game because I thought this had flash, quick beam. I, for some reason, my head was like, with this ability, it has to have flash. It does not. Surprise, surprise. Oops. Um, for all the one mana cycles are great, so these were good. Let's play 15 lands. Um, and then Gandalf was quite good. I mean, Gandalf really didn't need to trigger too much twice. Just be able to flash. A 4 5 flash is not bad. And the fact that the fact that we someone's got to double up Rosie's triggers or Bill's, pretty cool. But I mean,. I think that really to make the deck like this work out, you need more Ince Furies, you need more like low drop kind of creatures. Um, yeah, I think it was okay. I just really don't think Green Light's where you want to be in this format. I think blue, red, black, black, red, black, white, a lot better options. Um, but that being said, you know, thank you very much for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And I uh, hope to see you guys soon. Peace.